Hey guys, Town RC1, and um, here with a helpful tip. Um, I see a lot of people on people's channels asking, you know, how to keep your RC clean or how to clean your RC or anything like that. Um, this video is going to be a little bit of both of that. Um, first off, I would highly recommend doing this to your RC. Um, if you have a short course, this is what I did. Um, my friend got a new body, so we trimmed it out. And the fender wells, you know, you get these little pieces of leg sand. Well, if you put them right there, mud flaps. So leg sand, you know, you paint leg sand. So I cut them out, and as you can see right there, I cut them out and painted some uh, mud flaps. I just have to hold a flashlight up there so you can see. I did a little skull right there. And um, it actually doesn't look that bad. And this way, um, with these caliper tires, man, they, they spray up a lot of stuff. So when you turn, it's just pounding on this, not throwing it up into your chassis or up on, you know, your body or whatever. And I did the same with the other side right here painted them and they're really really strong I just picked the whole car up with just the mud flap so um I would highly recommend doing that it just save you a lot of time at the end after you get everything painted up and everything or you don't even have to paint them you just cut them out and stick them on there um I just bolted them on with two screws and after you get everything painted what I like to use toothbrush old toothbrush don't use anybody's that you know sisters or whatever <laughs> simple green this stuff is the bomb you can ask any racer they'll know of simple green um you know you just spray it on your tires you know wash them off and then let them dry it'll keep them a lot stickier and just spray some on the toothbrush you know scratch off your chassis and all that you know, bumper, shocks, I just take apart the shocks, that's what I do, is just rebuild them. Every time I race, <clears throat> you know, wipe off the A-arms, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to try to make this video pretty short, but that is my secret, you know, just get a get an old rag or whatever, and wipe it off afterwards. Um, that's pretty much it, uh, it's not that hard, um, I definitely recommend these mud flaps, and then, um, or mud guards, I should say. These aren't really mud flaps. Mud flaps are for the back. And then, simple green. You must go pick up a bottle of this because it helps your traction, makes your car look good. It's just overall very good product. So, go pick one of these up. You can pick it up at Walmart, Target, anywhere really. Any, you know, grocery store and probably the laundry detergent aisle or something like that. But for that, um, that is how to keep your RC clean and um, maybe some materials to clean it with. This stuff is way better than Windex because it doesn't smell that bad because Windex, you know, if you're using it in your room like I am, um, you know, it, it's so strong and every time you walk in here you want to faint. But um, with that, that is um, how to keep your RC clean and clean your RC. And I uh, hope you like it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. You can find more helpful tips at Triple Threat RC, and that is our um, my other YouTube channel that I share with Massville Hobbies.